Hey everyone, I'm making this video so that it fills in the gap between my last upload and the video I'm currently working on. It's a longer form video, so it's taking me some time to nail everything down, but as I was working on it, it became apparent to me yet again how bad publishers are with selling their older games at extortionate prices. I think that this first really caught my attention when I was looking for a copy of Black Ops 2 to play, and I went to the Steam page, the game that is over 10 years old is listed at a regular price of $64.99 Canadian Smackaroos. I never bought the game, and even at the sale discount of 67%, there is no way in hell I am going to pay over $21 for a game that has a minimum spec that is older than my interest into PCs. It's absurd that a game that was released over 10 years ago still fetches a price of a modern AA or AAA title when nothing has changed to warrant keeping that price so high. The graphics have not changed, the campaign hasn't changed, the multiplayer hasn't changed, yet they still want $65 for a game that doesn't get you everything? Activision still has the balls to go and ask you to buy a season pass for 55 Maple Leafs just so you can get four DLC maps and a calling card? On a 10 year old game? At least the price in retro game markets makes sense because the actual physical copy of the game is hard to find some 20 years later, not when you already have the game available for digital distribution only. Black Ops 3, a slightly newer game, also goes for an egregious regular price of $79.99, again where nothing has changed but is somehow supposed to be in the same price bracket as Elden Ring or Cyberpunk? COD games aren't the only ones that charge a lot for old tech that runs on new hardware. Other games like Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, Battlefield 4, Skyrim, The Witcher 3, Dark Souls 3, Watch Dogs 2, all games that are six years old or older all share the same attribute that they retail for $50 when not on sale. These old games that are well past their prime and bring nothing new to the table in no world should cost more than $15 when not on sale. I don't care what you say that I should just go and buy these games when they do go on sale and that the retail price is just there for the smooth brains that don't know anything better or that the technology of these games has held up because you're wrong. I don't think that we have gotten to the point just yet that games made today will hold up graphically, mechanically, and functionally some 5-10 to 10 years down the line that will look and feel like a new release. There is just too much rapid change and development in the gaming industry to be like, yeah, this game will always be 80 bucks. You can't stop ignorance when it comes to anything, and natural selection will do its thing and whatever, but why should you allow these companies to keep their old games at basically their launch prices so many years for anyone to look at? If these publishers know that these games are going to sell more when they go on sale or they're always on sale, why not just keep the price there? If the free market is telling you this is where the best price is to sell your game, why not just keep it there? I'm sure that more people would like to go back and play like an older Assassin's Creed game if they just had it available for a reasonable price. Letting these conglomerates do their thing, which is to exploit anyone and everyone, you're just giving them an inch only for them to take a mile from you. It sets a terrible precedent for everyone involved. The thing that sucks even more is that you could probably go and find a copy of these games that I mentioned at a used game store or on eBay and be able to have a similar playing experience to those on a PC for a fraction of the price. These old games do not justify their retail price on any digital marketplace and it should be illegal to charge modern prices for outdated technology.